Hi everyone, welcome to our today's channel on health and wellness. So today's topic is gratitude is the best attitude. Now, how many times you have heard somebody say, okay, this guy has a lot of attitude. Now, maybe that's something which you have heard. But then, now I'm talking about gratitude is the best attitude. Now, what does it mean? Now, uh, gratitude is being thankful. Uh, being thankful for who you are, where you are and everything, you know, God has given you, right? I mean, yeah. So now let's say you, um, now you say that, okay, maybe I have not got this from, you know, from so let, let's say from your parents, right? You, you might not have born to a rich parent, right? Now, what do you mean by rich? So they have not given you that much money or you could not, you know, have lots of money when you grown up as a kid. Thank God for that. Maybe you have learned how to grow up in less money. How Maybe you have le uh, learned how to live as a, live life as a minimalist, right? Now, also, and they might have given you lots of love, right? So whatever they could, they've possibly given you. Now, I'm just saying about parents, one instant, but life will not be always easy on you. Life may be at times tough, right? Uh, you might have a tough relationship and everything, but you should be thankful for that as well. Now, why I'm saying that, right? I mean, maybe you have learned a lot from a previous relationship, right? Um, so now thank God for that, right? I mean, now you think, okay, my, my boyfriend or my girlfriend, whatever it is, and they have kind of cheated on me or whatever. I mean, now I'm saying be thankful for that. Now that's less tricky. I mean, I'm not saying that that has, uh, that is not something which is good happened with you, but at least you would have learned, right? I mean, how next time if you use a similar kind of a person or a situation, you will not be cheated again, right? I mean, at least you would have learned that, you know, whom kind of, what kind of people to have a relationship with. Now I'm just giving a few examples right now. Uh, so you should be thankful for everything, right? At least you, uh, now then you realize that, okay, maybe sometimes, you know, life gives you a lesson, right? Not everything, uh, you know, we don't al always understand things by our own, right? Whenever we, we hit through the setba setbacks or roadblocks, then we learn a lesson, right? So that's why it says, you know, gratitude is the best attitude. And sometimes also at that moment, it looks like, oh, life is so tough on me. Going, you know, going forward, you know, uh, six months or a year down the line, two years down the line, you realize, okay, what happened to me two years back was really good and I learned that from in my life, right? So attitude uh, of gratitude is very important, not just having attitude or what you call, right? This kind of attitude of gratitude is helps you to grow as an individual. So in the subsequent part of the vlog, uh, I will speak with my wife, you know, uh, if she inculcate, inculcate this kind of gratitude in herself and what actually led to that kind of, you know, how somebody can actually uh, get this kind of attitude, yeah. So stay tuned. Hi Devrati, how are you? Hi. How's your week? Fine. Just fine? Okay. Yeah, it's nice, nice normal week. No, yes. So, yeah, today we're coming to a new topic again. So, uh, so today's, uh, today's topic is attitude of gratitude. Okay. okay. Have you heard something from the people said this guy's got attitude? Hi, attitude of gratitude. So, we, we say something negative, no? Attitude. Yeah. And it shows our attitude. Yeah. Negative. Okay. He or she does not have this much quality. She, she, she is always. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so now this is something uh, what I was talking about attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's something which is opposite to that. You know, be thankful, you know, be really nice to somebody, be thankful for what you have, you know, what you have got in your life. You know, I've heard of some people complaining, you know, I've not got this, I've not got yeah, this. I had lots of, lots of my uh, close friends or. And then still they have the lots of things and still they are telling okay. that they are complaining like I don't have this. I don't have this thing, I don't have this. Yeah, thing. sometimes we all look nice as I do, but then I realize that. No, so I for a few moments I used to real, I used to feel like that, yeah, I don't have this thing. But, no, but yeah, if, yeah. We, if we if we think about my entire life cycle and everything, so that time I realized that the whatever thing it is happened, uh, it's happened for good. Yes, that's true. I mean, you, it, it's always like that. If you think, you think a lot of things, right? You might not be have that much money to like, go and have a lunch in a, in a buffet or maybe a five star uh, restaurant. Whatever things are there in, our, in your life today, yeah. this will help you uh, for growing your career or growing anything. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you might actually realize that what you have, many people don't even have that, right? Mm -hmm. There's, there, are, there are people in the streets, they don't have food to eat. Now still they are they are happy. You know, many times you see children in the streets are so happy, and you know you look at yourself, you are like, oh, I don't have this. Like they don't complain that much. Right? Yeah. We complain so much. So I think that's what you know. If you want to be happy, you know, that's the best example. I would just say, be happy with what you have. Right? Think about yourself. Sometimes we blame ourselves a lot. We are very hard on ourselves. Like we have not done this. I have, I could have done this, did that, that. But be happy for your own achievements. You already would have done something great already, which many people could not have achieved. 
But at least the, the, also you don't know about you. The whole thing done lots of things. Lots of people they they cannot do this. Right, thing. right, right. Sometimes we 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 set our benchmark so so high and we don't and we become impatient, right? We we do not achieve everything tomorrow, right? You have to have you know proper timelines. I mean, you can't achieve everything tomorrow. You have to be patient enough to. Get things, and you should be grateful, right? I mean, you might have a goal of, let's say, anything, maybe your salary, right? Let's yeah. say, in, 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 you know, you need to have that much salary. But then understand that, let's say, even a small increment should make you happy. Yeah. You should be grateful for what God is giving you, right? Yeah. You know, I've just seen a video. Of this small increment will help you in future. Right. Yeah. It will make you more motivated. You feel you more to achieve your goal. Otherwise, you know, at times people say, you know, as just watching a video of Steve Harvey, you are saying, you know. God might be tired of giving you so much if you're not happy always. So I think you should be always grateful. Now, what do you think we are, uh, we are uh, giving for everything we have to thank God? To God, right? Mm -hmm. for every, do you think you should do it every day? It's an everyday day. Yeah, I used to do. The idea, I, I didn't do this thing, but nowadays, for, uh, since uh, for two, three, four years, I am doing this thing. Wow, at least I have to learn that from you. I, I don't practice get to, I often think that I have many things, but I don't practice get to it every day. I mean, that's a good idea. I mean, I have now I realize that I have so, I have everything actually. You now sometimes I think I don't have but actually if it's a big picture, you have many things, right? Many people don't have that much. Well, for a few moments you will feel uh, sad like that I don't have uh, this thing, I could have got get this thing. Right. But uh, whatever thing you are getting for that you should uh, thank you to God. Yeah, sometimes actually, you know, we like to try to blame God also. Why God has given this experience to me? I deserve better. But trust so me. So this experience will give you the better uh, and better uh, way, better path. Right, right. That is actually good for you. You don't realize it that point of time. Then you realize you just don't like, oh, thank God that has happened to me. Now you change yourself a lot. But then practice getting you from that point itself because you never know that actually maybe God is actually, you know, sometimes. The easy paths are not for you. Mm -hmm. God is actually carving you some really difficult path so that once you reach, you realize that you, you, uh, when you are made for this path. This path only, you know. I mean, that's what that, that's what because you can't go the way everybody would have gone. So, mm -hmm. so be grateful for everything. You never know what is actually uh, you know in line or uh, holds you in the future. So you should be always grateful for everything. So be it your relationship, be it your parents, your friends, family. I think. And what I realize is if I practice it every day, you know, it actually increases, you know, because that's a habit and I think we have to practice every day. So, uh, what are the experiences? Do you think that, are you also on the same uh, viewpoint that having gratitude every day helps you to? Uh, yes, sometimes, sometimes for a few moments I used to feel like yeah, that. Okay. Uh, but just for a few, um, few moments. Yeah. So, otherwise I used to do like this, whatever that uh, I am getting. So, uh, you just yeah, say, at that moment, and of course, you should have a goal of long term thing of achieving what you want to achieve. I'm not saying that you should not have a desire of that goal, mm -hmm. but I think you should be so before the time being, I am not getting this one, but I have to think like that. I have to think uh, positive way, right? So I, I will get uh, anytime after some time, I will get it. You should have to believe in yourself, uh -huh. then you will be more confident and you will actually achieve everything. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that is what I was discussing for the next part. I will, uh, you know speak about how you can actually have developed that attitude of gratitude. Yes. But thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. nice to meet you. Hi everyone, so you would have heard my wife uh, speaking on how to develop an attitude of gratitude. Uh, so I think what we discussed is you should practice gratitude every day. So it's not often, uh, you know, one once in six months that you realize and then okay, maybe I have so much, but not like that. You have to practice gratitude every day. That's the key. Um, that's the key. The key word here is, is every day. Right. And now the other thing is also you have to surround yourself with gratitude mindset people. Right. I mean, people who, who is really thankful for everything, not the people who kind of complain that, OK, I have not got this. Um, that's something, you know, I didn't get from my parents or I'm not getting this from my relationship. But if you get, if you always uh, see people complaining, but then that slowly drains your energy as well. Right. So you have to surround yourself with people who are who practice gratitude every day. Right. And another thing is also uh, take ownership of your present. Right. So if your present is good, your future definitely be uh, be good, right? So if you are happy today, if, if if you are not happy today, then most likely you know in the future coming days also not be happy. So if you are not happy, to, you have to be you practice gratitude every day, and you have to take ownership of your present. That is that is very important. That that's the key, right? Now let me uh, also talk about what are the benefits of having this kind of 
attitude of gratitude now one of the benefits is you sleep well at night right if you're thankful okay thank god you've given me you'll definitely sleep well okay and uh, and you, your physical health is really good right now how can you actually inculcate those habit habits you know uh, one thing is uh, early morning maybe you do a bit of meditation you know and i think one of the important thing is uh, calculate uh, you know count your blessings right uh, you should always think i have not got this that you should think that what i have actually got right another point is also be kind to others right you know life is tough for you all know for everyone it's tough if it is tough for you it's probably tough for everybody else right at least if you if you can't help some somebody with a lot of materialistic thing you can give them some you know maybe at least be kind to others right uh, that is something uh, that's something which you can inculcate right these habits can actually help you to become a better person and you can develop an attitude of gratitude yeah so i hope you like the vlog and uh, let me know in the comments which of the uh, further vlogs you want to listen in this series of vlogs yeah thank you for your time have a nice weekend